Jesus is real to me. So, yes, he came with a victory. So many people doubt him. I can't live without him. That's a eloquent hope. So he's so real to me. And morning he's real. So, amen, he done made himself real to me. I didn't know him before, but now I know he real, real. Ain't nobody going to fool me now. Oh, they too late. We thank and bless your holy name on today, God. Bless those that are sick in their bodies, that your healing virtue will flow, Lord. For you was wounded for our transgressions, you was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, and by your stripes you are healed. From the crown of our heads to the soul of our feet, Heavenly Father. Lord, I ask for God that you will increase for God, that I will decrease in the mighty name of Jesus. That I don't add to your word, that I don't take away from your word, but I speak what does says the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the choice to the Lord God. We're going to speak the word over him, Lord God. I thank you for my cousin, husband, healing, Lord God. I thank you for my uh, um, customer that's dealing with cancer, Lord, that she healed in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So we thank you for the binding for those that are sick in their bodies. Amen, Lord God. So we bless you, we praise you, we magnify you on today, God. For the binding it for the nations on today, God. Bless people to repent and turn from all of our wicked ways and grab hold to your ways, Lord. Because it wasn't in your will for any man to perish, but that they all come to repentance. So we thank you for repentance spirit on today. We thank you for peace that surpasses all our understanding. Yeah. And we thank you that the joy of the Lord is our strength, God. We pray for those in authority, Lord God, that you yeah. will use your word, Lord God, to do what thus says the Lord and not fulfill that old junky flesh. Help us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank you, Jesus. God bless Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So our topic today is don't be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Don't be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Exactly. We're gonna go to is oh is it ho uh, is H O S E A? Is that Hosanna? I don't know how you pronounce it. It's Hosanna. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was wondering if it was. This is the spelling was going to be off a little bit. Okay, so for uh, chapter four, verse six. Page 
destroy for the lack of knowledge because they has rejected knowledge and I will also reject thee. Thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of the Lord, of thy God, and I will also forget thy children. So it's very important that we don't forget God's law. Amen. It's very important that we remember his law. And Psalms 103 says those are remember his commandments to do them. So he wants us to remember his commandments, and he also wants us to do it. Amen. He wants us to obey his, uh, his commandments. Amen. And it reads, and he said, and I also will forget your children, because he said it's into, let's go to Psalms 103. So I won't misquote the word, we're going to let the word speak for itself, because that's how he real good with his word, but you know, this is the flip side of what he promised. Go to Psalms 103. everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness to his children to them to such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commandments to do them so God is saying his mercy is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him Amen. and his righteousness and to the children to the children's children so God is saying we gotta fear God Amen. and we gotta teach our children how to fear God Amen. and he also said such as keep his covenant meaning his commandments and he said it's to do them. So God don't want to just know his word. He wants us to do his word. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God, my God. And it says, verse, we're going back to Hosanna on the text, page 1073. Verse 7. And it says, as they were increased, so they sinned against me. Therefore will I change the Lord into shame. So when we increase in sin, you know, we once you have the knowledge of Christ and you begin to live for God, and you begin to go and do your own thing and start sinning against God, you know, you was, you know, he was he was giving God all the glory and all the praise, you know, for his goodness, his mercy, his word, how he let you overcome sin and do all these good things. But then when you turn from that and start sinning against God, he said, I'm gonna turn that glory into shame. So we don't want to go get all this knowledge and then forget God by doing our own thing, by satisfying the flesh, by walking in the flesh, living in the flesh, doing all these fleshly things, and then we wonder, how did we get to this place? How? Where did it start from? Was it the music? Was it, was it the music? Was it the things I seen on TV? Was it me going to the club here and there? Was it me, you know, drinking a little beer here and there? Was it me fornicating here and there, committing adultery here and there? You know, starting stealing here and there, lying here and there. You know, you begin to do these things just here and there, and then all of a sudden it begins to build because whatever you sow, that's what you're gonna reap. So if you sow to your spirit the things of God, you're gonna reap everlasting life. So if you sow to this flesh and do these sinful things, guess what? You're going to feed that flesh and you're going to look up and be like, how did I get to this place? Amen. And then what if you look up and you wake up in hell? Because you done lost your life and now you in hell screaming, talking about how did I get here? It was the choices we made. It's because we put, we put his word to the side. And we picked up that bottle. Or we put his word to the side and went to that strip club. We put his word to the side and we went to go sleep with this person and that person. When we put the word of God to the side and don't meditate on it, guess what? We don't forget who we are in Christ Jesus. Because the word of God is a mirror. A word of God, the word of God is to keep us, to correct us, to help us live a righteous life. So without this knowledge, we're going to perish. So once you grab hold to this knowledge, don't put it to the side because you feel like you arrived. 
You know, it's high and high to be productive in the Lord. So we have to stay before our face before God. We have to stay in the house of the Lord so we can hear this word. Because faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So we don't have to perish if we use our tools. Amen. By going to church. Open up our Bible. Meditate on the word of God. Listen to gospel music. Feed not with spirit. So when the enemy come up against us, guess what? We could use our weapons. But if we don't pick up the word, if we don't spend time with God, we're not going to have nothing to pick up. Because we ain't put nothing in for nothing to come out. So we need the Lord. And it says, As there shall be like people, like priests, I will perish them for their ways and reward them and reward them their doing. So God said, I'm going to reward them for their doing. Because these are things they decide to do. Amen. Hallelujah. For they shall eat and not have enough. They shall commit whoredom and shall not and shall not increase because they have left off to take heed to the Lord. So they left off. They wasn't listening to God no more. They wasn't going to church no more. Amen. They wasn't studying their word no more. They wasn't listening to praise and gospel music no more. So they left off. They left off from hearing from the Lord. Amen. Or taking heed to the Lord. So we're going to go to Matthew 3 and 1. And it reads, In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that hath spoken by the prophet Elijah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, so carry the way of the Lord, make his path straight. So John is telling the people to repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. He said, repent. Don't harden your heart. Start listening to Jesus. Exactly. Listen to what he's saying. He's rebuking you because he wants you to go free. He's correcting you because he wants you to turn from your wicked ways. But if you don't take heed and repent, if we don't take heed and repent, it's going to cost us. Amen. We're going to go to Revelations 1 and 1. Page 14 to 3. And read the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. He sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear records of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So God's word is for us to listen, to take heed to the word of God. Yeah. Because the time is at hand. So when these things begin to take place, this, when we're about to speak about the revelations, you're going to be without excuse. Amen. And it says, join to the seven churches, which are in Ash, greet unto you in peace from him, which is and which was and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the king of earth, and to him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So Jesus came, he died for our sins. Yeah. He Amen. washed us in his own blood. Yeah. He washed our sins away. Amen. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you got to go to church. You got to hear the word. You got to hear righteousness. You got to hear his laws and his commandments and his precepts. So that you can become a new creature in yes, Christ Jesus. Yes. So old things can be passed away. Behold, all things become new. But if you don't hear about the new, if you don't hear about righteousness, how can you be born again? How can you begin to live different and talk different and walk different and dress different? How can you? Okay. You got to take heed to the word of God. Because we always born into sin. So we have to be born again. How will be born again? By accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And confessing your sins and turning from your sins. Yes, Lord. And when God, when you walk with God, you might fall. You might have a lying spirit. 
as you begin to get in the word, the word tell you, uh, don't lie. You know, the word will say you don't steal no more. So you'll be like, okay, I'm, I'm a thief, but the word said don't steal no more. So you're going to find out the truth from the word of God that God said don't steal no more. Exactly. So God is telling you don't do that no more. I know you a thief. I know you was this. I know you was that. But I'm telling you to stop it. Amen. Lord, but it's hard. I can't stop it. The more time you stand with God, guess what? It's going to become easy. You got to practice. Amen. When you're in the store, you got to be in the word. So when your hand get ready to steal something, like, you know what? I just left that church and I read my Bible. He said, thou should not steal. So no, don't steal because God said don't steal. Amen. I want to be a new creature in Christ Jesus. I want old things to be passed away before all things become new. So I can't steal. I can't do it. Amen. And you tell your hands, no, we can't do this. Let's go pray and ask the Lord for the blessing. Or right, let's go make a phone call, see if we can get it from somebody else. You know, ask. You know, sometimes you got to pick up the phone and call. Lord, go get a job. You know, go get a job. You know, too. So go out and fix it when you don't have to steal. Amen. But you got to know what he said. My God, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And had made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. So our father, he does forever. Amen. Everything that you need, guess what? He's going to provide. But you got to spend time with the father. You got to spend time with the son. You got to spend time in that word. So you'll know what type of benefits you have in Christ. Amen. And it says, Behold, he come with the clouds, and every eye shall see, and they also sh that pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Amen. So everybody going to see him. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if God has given us this knowledge of what's going to take place, let's go ahead and receive Jesus our Lord and Savior. Let's go ahead and get on board and turn from our wicked ways. Yeah. And ask him to help us. Because it's in his will for us to be delivered. Amen. It's in his will for us to be free. And who the son made free is free indeed. But you got to stay with Jesus. Amen. Every Lord. And it says, um, after my maker, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, which is and which was and is to come, the Almighty. And I join who also am your brother and companion in tribulations in the kingdom and of patience of Jesus Christ. Which is an ash that is called Pat Patmos. I'm just shooting them. For the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. So we want to run with people that's running with Jesus. Amen. If they're not running with Jesus and going to church trying to be a new creature in Christ Jesus, then you got to separate yourself. Because right. what you're around is what you're going to become. But the other, I always give us this illustration. When you put your hand on a fish, it's going to smell like a fish. Amen. How many times is it going to happen every time you put your hands on that fish? Yeah. So you run with these people. They'll say, what, the birds, the little feather, they like to fly together. So you got to get you to fly. Amen. You got to get you a sanctified fly. Yeah, fly you know, so we got we to gotta separate ourselves. It's not that we want to act like we better than anybody. It's not that. It's just that the word said bad communication corrupt good manner. Amen. So we don't want to be corrupt or become corrupt. And if God said old things are passed away, behold, all things become new, then we got to separate. So would that make me better than them? I just like to say humble. You are all better, but I want to humble myself. And you know, God did it, so I want to glorify Him. You know, and not you know, right? You know, I was even saying, holier than thou. I said, I didn't know y'all thought that well of it. That holier was that's right because God said, "Be ye holy, for I am holy." So I got to know what the standards of God is, not the people. Right. Because the people are going to try to bring you back down to that level. Right. Where they are. Well, I don't want to be at your level no more. Right. So if you say, I, I'm thinking I'm better than you, I didn't know you thought that well of Right. I, I right. must be better than you because I'm not acting like you no more. Amen. Is that better? That is better. If I'm not acting like you, oh, that, it got to be better. Right. I, I like better about I love that too. It's just that it's, I just don't want to, you know, give room for the flesh, to the, for the big head. You know, I want to give the word to who? To God. Because he's making you what? Better. All right. Yeah. So, though you ain't got to go toward the flesh. Right. You go toward the spirit. Because yeah. the spirit going to make you better. Amen. Yeah. Better and better and better. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I like better than I said again. I don't like words and words. No, I like better, because I want to do better and better and better. 
better. And Lord is teaching me how to do better and better and better. He's teaching me Kimberly. He's teaching me more about her. I'm learning more about her like every day I'm learning. Amen. I'm like, wow, Lord, help me with this, Lord. Help me with that, Lord. Lord, you more than able, Lord. I could be in prayer. And he'll be like, well, you got to be better. Yeah. And I'm, I'm loving that. And God, and God is the one that makes us better. He does. All right. That may, that mean I'm not flocking with the the flock no more. Mm -hmm. I'm flocking with a different flock now that want to be better. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure I fly with the right one. Right. The one that want to do better and want to stay close to Jesus because we are the last few days and God said save yourself for this untoward generation. We miss a crooked generation like that. Amen. If you don't be wise enough to know that. This will corrupt me. You know what I'm saying? You don't have if you don't have the wisdom and the knowledge to stay away from that, you'll go and be all up in it. And yeah. that's not important. When I first got saved, I would uh go around my family, you know, we look I'll be sitting there talking about the word of God, talking about next and I'm drinking, I'm having fun. I started out talking about Jesus, but I started drinking. Because yeah. you gotta separate yourself. Now, you can probably go back when you get stronger and the Lord will go and send you to give them a word, then you go. But you can't just go and chill with them and party with them because God, he don't want you to do that because you might be tempted to sin against him. Yeah. And then you don't want your good to be, be, uh, be evil spoken of me. So you have to use wisdom. You can go to save your soul, but don't get your soul lost in the process because you can't. That's just how it works. Amen. You are so you got to be stronger than the Lord and the power of his might and God will tell you to separate yourself. Amen. So we got to use this. We got to use this. We have to. Amen. There's nothing good in the world in that flesh. So we have to be careful. In, in the subject right now? Yes. My people, don't pass, don't be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. When they go get this knowledge, it's available. Amen. So let's get it. And it says, verse 10, And I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice of a trumpet. Saying, I'm after the Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book and send it into the seven churches, which are Ash and in Ephesians, and into Cyrus and into Potiphar. So I don't know where she makes these words, y'all, so y'all don't have to excuse me. Right. And into Tyrus, and into Sordis, and into Philadelphia, and into Laminus. And I, I turned to see the voice that spoke of me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one likened to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment, down to his feet, girt about with pipes with a gold gilt. Is it how you pronounce that? Girl. Girl. And his head and his hair were like white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame fire. He's talking about Jesus. Amen. And his feet like to fine brass, as if they were burnt in the furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. So when Jesus is speaking, we want to obey him. Amen. We want to walk with him because he overcame sin. He washes in his blood, so we need to follow Jesus and take heed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And he and he had in his right hand seven swords, and out of his mouth went a two a sword, two edged sword. And his punches was like the sun shining in his strength. So Jesus had his two-edged sword, so, which is the word of God. Yeah. So we need to take heed to the word of God and have this knowledge of the word of God so we don't have to perish. Amen. And it says, and when I saw him, I fell at his feet, as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying, unto me, fear not, for I am the first and the last. So Lord is saying, fear not, I am the first and I am the last. We're on page 1464. And she had Revelation 1, and she just read the 16 verse. That's what you have, Sister Kim? Headed to 18. Going to 18? Yes, sir. Going to, she's going to 18 verse. Headed 1464. Thank you. Right. And, it's, and the subject here of my people tired of lack of knowledge. And I'm he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive and more, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. So Jesus is alive forevermore. So our Lord and Savior, he's alive forevermore. Amen. Our Lord and Savior give us the victory over sin. Yes. Our Lord and Savior to provide all of our needs. He also provides us with wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding, and an obedient spirit to obey the word of God. So we don't have to perish for the lack of knowledge if we have our Lord and Savior leading us and guiding us. Amen. By the word of God, because the enemy, he can come in the form of a life. 
the devil, and he can lie to you, he can deceive you. But if you have Jesus in you, directing you, and keeping you, and you have the word of God to back up what that other person is saying, yeah. you ain't gonna go with that lie. You're not gonna go with part of the truth. You're not gonna go with this oh, this great woman in the Lord that called herself a prophet or a pastor or whatever. She give herself this title and she's trying to lead you astray. She giving you this sound good doctrine, saying, "Oh, can't nobody be perfect? God know that everybody's sin. That's why you shed his blood. It's okay." To have a little drink. It's okay to have a little fun occasion. Let's keep washing yourself in the blood of Jesus. That's what he died for. Don't be deceived. Amen. So we have to be careful. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. And it says, I am he that did it. Okay, we read that one. Write these things, write the things which thou seest, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mysteries of the seven stars which thou sawest in the right hand. And the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks, which shall stars, are the seven churches. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we're going to the second chapter. It's a lot of eating, so thank you, Jesus. Amen. And then to the angel of the church of Ephesians, right? These things said, He that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walked in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, I know thy works, and thy labors, and thy patience, and how thou canest not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars. And thou hast bored and hast patience, for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Wait a minute. So, you care about doing all that good stuff? You mean I ain't done enough? No. What God looking for? Perfection. You mean? And he wants us to be get that. through the word of God, through listening to Jesus, and re receiving his rebuke, receiving his correction, receiving his word, and being humble enough to say, Lord, I left my first love. Lord, I loved you. Lord, I left the church. Lord, I probably was hurt. Or I probably had a death of a loved one, and they left. God saying, remember, therefore, from when is thou art fallen, and repent and do the first work, or else I will come unto thee quickly and remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. So Jesus is telling us we need to repent. Jesus is looking for perfection. The candlestick, I got to go to my notes. You just got to give it to me in that 20th word verse. Let me go back, okay. In the mission of the seven stars, which thou stars in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks, are the seven stars, are the angels of the seven churches. And the candlesticks, which thou stars, are the seven churches. So it's the church. It's a church he going to remove from that angel. That's the angel is the one that's over that church. Okay. And he said, I'm going to take the church from you. Mm -hmm. If you don't repent. Mm -hmm. So even a leader to stop going to church. The leader stopped going to church. The one that's supposed to be in feed the people. He stopped going. So how y'all feel? Fourteen to four. So you tell him that leader to repent. If you don't repent, I'm gonna take that church from you. I'd rather have two or three people in the church and have a whole crowd of folks and we're all going to hell together. Make no sense. We're gonna all but everybody, the leader, and everybody else. Um, let's repent. Repent in the name of the Lord. It says, "But thou hast said, thou hast hated the meat of Nickelodeon, which I also hate. He that had ear, let him hear what the Spirit saying to the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God." So God is saying, if we overcome, yeah. we're going to be able to eat from the tree of life. So we're not going to overcome. We have to overcome sin. Okay. And we have to repent. I have to repent and go back to church, right? Yes. Got, got <laughs> my little feet in there. Y'all hurt my little feet in there. Yes. I'm going to shut the church down. Y'all hurt my feet in So I ain't going back to bend these bottles up for me. So y'all have to find another one to feed you. But the dough is closed. That's pretty drastic, huh? Uh, 
Let's repent and keep going. And then to the angel of the church is on this. Right, these things said the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works in the tribulation and providence that thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but they are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou had, which thou shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast on you into prison, that he may be tried, and you shall have tribulation ten days. Be faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of life. Well, wait a minute, so the kid, I'm going to tell you all something stupid, which y'all want to kill me for. It's just, just the devil don't like Christians. He don't like um, people that know the Lord and have a personal relationship with the Lord because he missed out. And he knows that he has but a short time, and this time is running up. So he want to take as many people as he possibly can to the pits of hell with him. But we have to overcome and take heed. And when Jesus say repent, turn from your wicked ways, whatever sin that we might have or anything that you might have in your heart. Yes, that's why he told him to be faithful. Earn to death. So I got to be faithful to who? Lord. What's wrong with the people? I come out with people. Man, them people ain't even there. (laughs) When you get locked up, it's hard to find people that's going to ride with you. So you got to go with God. I go with God. Go so if I'm faithful to God, I'm gonna get a crown of life. If I go through with this church, you're going through. I'll be faithful until death because they want to take me out. Right. And if I'll be faithful to death, then I'm gonna achieve a what? A crown of life. So if I might lose my head down here, but I'm gonna get another head in heaven. Right. right. You gotta have a head to put a crown on. That's right. That's right. That's true. So this physical body. Is not the one that's going to get the crown. Mm-hmm. That's right. And then he told us how long he was going to be. He said, it's going to be 10 days. <laughs> you say, you know, you be doing a countdown. <laughs> oh, Lord, I'm at day five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just you pray. Need, you're going to need a lot of Jesus. You're going to pray to the Lord. You've got to keep praying. You you're going to need a lot of Jesus. Yeah, you know, you're going to need a lot of Jesus. You're going to need a lot of Jesus here. You're going to need some endurance. You're going to need some word in you. Hallelujah, you're going to need some truth in you. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Need you're some gonna, knowledge. You're going to need that knowledge. you got to remember that hell is hot. They got words that they don't die. You know, flames the fire. You know, that grease hits you when you're making that bacon and stuff. It hurt. You know, you fighting back like Jesus. You calling on Jesus. That's a little nice little thing. My God. But Lord, have flame, God. Bitch, you. my God, that ain't no end to it. Verse 11, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. He that overcome it shall not be hurt of the second death. To the angels of the church of Pentecost, write, these things said he, which had the sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, and when thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you, where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou because hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balaam to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of Nicholas, which things I hate. So the Lord is saying, I hate these things. They commit fornication, eat things, sacrifices to idols, and so cause another so people to fall. Can I, can I say something? Go ahead. It's, it's, it's all man, not by works. It's by grace. They lie. I'm saying.
say something that's not right or he didn't explain it right, he takes correction from the word. That's it. Not from the word. So that's a blessing. Correction is good. Correction is the gift like of getting right. You know, so that's a blessing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What is correction for a Christian that want to do right? It's good. It's good. Because they want it, it helps to get them right. For the correction. This is what Jesus Christ is doing. He's correcting these churches. Yeah. Now, some of them don't listen. And they're going to be strong enough. I won't be among the one that's going this so I can get this crown of life that he tells me I can have if I overcome my trial that I'm being tested with in the church. Yeah. You're already tested outside the church. Right. But did you know that you're tested inside the church? Mm-hmm. That's what you're dealing with here. The one in the church.
because they got that, that sound good doctrine. Exactly. And God is not pleased with that. Oh, he said, I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into the What happened? Then? She didn't do what? She ain't repent. So, is that going on today? It's going on today. After people hear the word, they still don't want to repent. I passed out some flies on the car. It got a, another virus out there. Did you get Brother Jones? Yeah. I, I had a, a little David been passing them out. Now, this virus, you can have a shot. God said, okay. Y'all got y'all this shot? I'm going to put one on y'all. That they just shot down. Who is that? Jesus. Lord, is that? Plays come from God. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't believe it. But you need to go read the Old Testament, ten plays, seven plays in the Revelation. Devil can't send those plays. He ain't got that kind of power. Now, he might use the devil to carry it out. Mm -hmm. But the power comes from God to send a play. That what I was trying to say. See what happened, somebody summed the two of them. And I said, let me go look at that this morning. I said, let me look at that and Google it and find out about this thing and then summon it twice. Now, when people send me something twice to get my attention, because the Lord talking to me, now I know you get both once, I didn't listen. And now you're speaking twice. I said, okay, the Lord, let me stop find out about what people send me. A lot of people don't know about this because it hasn't been released yet. But it's going to be released because I was Googling and I was able to get it off of Google so I know somebody knows something about it. Have y'all heard that play again? Yeah. yeah. You heard that? I know somebody that got it and they didn't had the shots and they didn't had it previously and they got it again, now husband and wife. Um, oh, you know, and then that, that's the name of They got the COVID. They got this. That's that. That's what's out there. Yeah, well, what's the name on that paper? There? Uh, COVID uh, Omicron. Sub yeah, that's the one that that person ended up getting. I don't know what they have. She they got COVID. They out the name. Yeah. Because it, it was a, it's a COVID out there before this one here. Right. That they got the shot and it hit the mouth to figure it out. Now this one here, you can have the shot, but it can't hit. Because they ain't found a cure for it. God, it, God ain't praying. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Sister Kim, and we got to get some more to the church here and get some more knowledge. Amen. And go with God because He's a healer, He's a way maker. He'll keep you from sickness, He'll keep you from diseases. Amen. When something get on you, you serve the Lord, guess what? It, it can't stay. It got to go in the name of Jesus mm -hmm. and by the blood of the Lamb of God. That's when you serve the true and living Lord. His name is Jesus Christ. Make him your Lord and serve him. All he wants you to do is do right. And he'll protect you from all those places out there. Amen. They ain't going to come near you. In Jesus' name. My God, yes. you're under the blood. In verse 22, it says, Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adoption with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. So he's just saying, like, y'all repent. Turn from these wicked ways, guess what? Um, it's going to be okay. Yeah. 23 got some consequences. Ooh, I will kill her right. children with them. That, that's not sound doctor. That's not no good smooth doctor. For it's them. not. But it'll deliver you if you want to be delivered. You care you. about your children. Uh, come on with the truth. You care about your grandkids. You care about your life. Yeah, that's what it is. Come on with the truth. And it says, I will kill her children with them. Oh, and I'll the church shall know that I am he which searches the realms of the heart. And I will give unto every one of you according to, to their works. So it's not the Lord. You're doing it to yourself. It's your doing. It's your wickedness. Because I didn't repent. And you was like, oh, God is a loving God, a merciful God. He is. But you're doing it. God going to make up his word. It's written. Yeah, so I was looking he's at a loving God. Can I say something? Yes, sir. He's a loving God. He's a merciful God. He's a compassion God. He has compassion. He has kindness. Mm -hmm. right? Right, so he's all that, but then he tells me, if I don't have this knowledge, I can perish. Yes, sir. That's what the subject is. Yes, Are people praying for Lord? No, I can, don't I can give me for the lack of knowledge. All right, so if I don't have knowledge to repent and to do it, right. 
turn from and repent. Mm -hmm. And I continued doing, letting that go on in the church. He told to leave it. Mm -hmm. He let that go on in the church, He's not stopping it, as he spoke earlier. He's not trying to stop that from happening in the church. Well, the law is going to deal with the head first. Then he's going to come back.
adoption, which have not known the death of Satan, as they say, I will put upon you no other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast until I come. So the Lord is saying, that knowledge you have. Yeah. Hold fast hold to that. Hold fast knowledge. Obey that knowledge. Amen. Obey the word of God. Yes, if Lord. all you have is Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and I should continue in sin, you go with that, and you hold fast, and you overcome sin through Jesus. If that's how you got, you use that, and you overcome Amen. sin. Amen. You find out what sin is. You find out how powerful that blood is. How the blood will never lose its power. How the blood washes us. And how the blood, Jesus came to take away the sins of the world. That's all you got. God came to take away my sins. No, I'm not doing sin. I'm not doing that. He said no. Amen. And you go with it. Right, you hold fast to that. And don't let nobody God. persuade you. He said, hold fast till I come. Yes, Lord. That's how you got you hold fast. Hallelujah, Jesus. And he that overcometh and keep my word unto the end, to him will I give power to o- over the nation. So what's going to give you power I over the nation? Hell, I could benefit. Great benefit. When you serve God, you're going to go higher and higher than him. Because he loved you. He said, there's no good thing but people hold from and they walk upright. Meaning you live in righteousness. And you call on Jesus. And you look into the hills which come at your help. All your help come from the Lord. Yeah. You're not doing it on your own ability, your own strength, your own wisdom, your own knowledge. No, you answer the word of God and you ask the Lord to help you. Amen. Every day for the rest of your life. Amen. And he shall rule them with the water of iron, as a vessel of a powder shall they be broken into shipping, even as I received of my father. So everything that God, everything that Jesus has, he received of his father. Yeah. And I will give him the morning star. Oh, he will give you the morning star. All you got to do is obey him. All you got to do is trust in him and call on him. him. Yes, problems going to come. Circumstances going to come. But he's a present help in the time of our need. Hallelujah. And he says, the word is mighty, even in thy mouth. And then you got to get the word out the pages, put it in your heart, so it come out of your mouth. Amen. And it says, he that, he that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Right, God. Chapter 3. And it says, Unto the angels of the church of Sardis, write these things, said the Lord. He that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, and that thou hast a name, that thou livest in our dead. Oh, Ooh. Lord, have mercy. Okay, so I had this. Living and dead at the same time. Living and are dead. I know thy works. Thou living and thou are dead. That thou has a name that lives. That name is Jesus. And our dead sin. We don't want to be dead. We don't want to be in sin. So to have that name, which is Jesus, is alive and well. And our dead, the way you sin is death. So we don't want to live in sin. Amen. And we're using that name, preaching, teaching, laying hands on the sick, the sick recovering. But you're dead because you're living in sin. Lord, how much is Jesus? And we have um, Jesus living. But when we're in sin, we are dead. Just thinking about this verse, but the word said, Revelations 1 and 4. Let's go to Revelations 1 and 4. It says, Join to the seven churches which are in Ash. Grace then to you, and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ, who is faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the king of the earth, and to him that love us, who washed us from our sin and is all good. So, let's see. Okay. And it says, and read 1 and 16. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his punches was as the sun shining in his strength. We're talking about Jesus. There you go. Let's see what else we Read according to the word, Revelation 3 and 1. And the angel of the church in Sardis white, these things said he, that the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a name that liveth in our dead. And it says, the seven spirits of God, including the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, of understanding, of counsel.
counsel of might and of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. Here are the representatives of the seven spirits which are before the throne of God. We're going to go to Isaiah 11, 22. shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom, understanding, the spirit of counsel, might, the spirit of knowledge, and of the fear of the Lord, shall make him quick, quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. Let's see, I think I stopped at five. It says, but righteousness shall he judge the poor and reward Reprove the equity, equity for the equity of the meat of the earth, and he shall smite the earth with the Lord of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Remember therefore how thou remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, that thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in so thy which have not defiled the woman. They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. And he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that had an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. So. Wait a minute, I thought I want to say it wrong. say, You mean my name can get blotted out? Yeah, so name can get blotted out. So we man have. Told, man told my, I ain't gonna never get out of here. We have to overcome sin. And I'm thankful for this message. Um, I'm thankful about the, the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom, of understanding, of counsel, of might, of knowledge, and the fear of the Lord. Because when we have those, we're going to overcome. We're going to overcome sin because we got Jesus as our counselor. Yeah. We got Jesus giving us wisdom, giving us understanding. 
given us might to fight the enemy in his name. And thank God that our name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. Um, to fear God. When we fear God, we're going to automatically overcome sin because we fear God. Amen. Because the fear is going to keep us from going against God, going against his word, going against knowledge, going against us. We're going to do what's right. And I'm like, Lord, we have our laws. Ain't no way we should be perishing for the lack of knowledge. Because right. God don't just keep pouring out knowledge every day, but we have to do our part to go after the knowledge. Amen. We have to do our part to spend that time with God so he can talk to us and feed us from on high. Yeah. We don't spend that time, we don't read our Bible, we don't pray, we don't go to church. God can't work with that because he has nothing to work with. So we have to humble ourselves and go get this knowledge. Amen. And this was, don't be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. You don't have to be destroyed because it's right here in the Bible. It's right here in the church house. It's right here on your knees. We just have to do our part. He said, draw night to me, and I will draw night to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart, you devil mind. So when God begin to draw night to us, he's going to draw night with his word. Right. And we have to take heed to his word. He said, repent. God is telling us in Revelation to repent. Amen. He's trying to give us a chance after chance after chance after chance. So if we continue in sin, we have nobody to blame but ourselves. Because he told us what to do. We just chose not to. So when it's all said and done, we just said it again. We said it. He said, I'm going to fight against you with the sword of my mouth. But if you repent and turn from you, yes, we'll be all to rejoice and have a good time. Keep going in heaven. Keep going in heaven. Keep going heaven. Walking this life full of love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, tenderness, rejoicing when we're going through our trials and our tribulations because he's going to bring us out. And that's the place I want to get in. Lord, help me to rejoice when I'll hear this breaking news. Help me to start rejoicing. Because you know what? He can rejoice when I was well. I want to practice rejoicing when I'm going through. Amen. So God can bring us out quickly. But if we murmur and complain, the children of Israel is a prime example. What it would have took 11 day journey took them 40 years because they murmured and they complained. So we got to use them as an example of not to murmur and complain. He said, do all things without murmuring and complaining. Do all things through Christ. Oh, Jesus. So we got to go after things of God. And it's, it's a, a blessed life, an Amen. easy life. Only time it's hard is when we rebel we and don't want to do it. And all God wants us to do is to do right and to love one another. So we serve an awesome Lord. Amen. And we just want to go with Jesus. Amen. Every day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Your word said. Your word said.